Hi Sag, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Sagittarius Sun Moon Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Sag. The message could be for you. Feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind these are general and timeless readings. Everything that you need to access is down below in my description box, which would be my website link and Instagram handle, all that good stuff. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you've been here in support of the channel. Let's dive in. We have right in the center the vessel. Okay. That's nice. We have here in the external the forest, the nectar, the empty room. Oh, interesting. Um... There's someone in the external environment that is, like, still coming out of the fog or trying to navigate their path at this time. This is a very sweet person. This could be a person that feels lost but trying to make their way through with the forest straight up. And then we have the empty room in reverse. Almost like, okay, okay. If there's a person that you've been observing... Um, or this could be someone that you're connected to that's outside of yourself. You could feel like this person's like in the fog, trying to come out of something, but this person's very sweet. They might not have time to themselves. The empty room is in reverse. Almost like someone doesn't have that... Someone for a time didn't have space or didn't have time to themselves. It's like something interesting around that. There was some kind of empty space being filled. Let's see. I already shuffled these a bit, so they feel pretty good. Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. Blockage. I was in the recent past. Um, something took a temporary, uh, like, that could have been a lack of focus. Or um, if you were working, there could have been a break from that. Like you took a break from working. Like you're going to pick something back up again, pick up a project or something else is going to come together. We have, what a weird process. Okay, six of pentacles coming out in the center. We have the four of pentacles. Five of swords is in the reverse. And the Knight of Swords is right next to it. Whoa. I think I'll put the Wheel of Fortune at the top. Four of Swords right there. Can you see it? Okay. Five of Cups in the reverse. King of Wands in the reverse. Um, I'm tempted to say that's you, but Judgment in the reverse. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Okay, Judgment in the reverse. And then here's this Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups in reverse, and then we have the Five of Wands. Whoa. Okay. This is like, this is one of those readings where it's not going to be for all of you. Okay. All right. Whoa. Wheel of Fortune. Good luck could be coming in. You could feel like um, there's a change coming to your cycle. Things could be feeling like they're starting to get together 
or um, starting to make some kind of positive change. And it could have been from an offer that was made here. You could have felt like someone was, this could have been a collaboration or some kind of offer that was made. It was either on your side or the other, but there's something interesting here where there's a significant change that's happening in your process. And this could be something here about like, I don't know if it's like giving to the right situations, but you'll feel something magical shift. It's almost like, don't expect if you're generous in one way, maybe you'll be generous to someone that won't reciprocate, but not to worry because in another avenue, the universe is just recognizing if you're being generous, you know, because energy is energy. So if you give something to someone, it's like, it'll be reciprocated maybe in a different environment because someone else might be kind of like hoarding or, um, maybe a titch of a miser. This, there's a person that might be in that energy. I feel like there's a shift to that coming. You guys also might feel like there was an internal shift. If so, if you were cautious or frugal about money, there could be something that's shifting about that as well. And five of swords reverse. Okay. Well, there's so many things. The vessel is about like your body and there could be more attention and focus that's going to that area and vessels of transformation like humans are like that but you could have a focus on that or you're intentionally looking at that four of swords and the knight of swords that's an interesting exchange going on it's like okay you could feel like the vessel you're approaching maybe something about your health or you could just be looking at um a lot of energetic stuff even like biology you know like looking at your cell structure and working with that at this time i don't even care how nerdy it sounds okay you might have an interaction here coming up. This King of Wands in reverse, there was, there's, okay, so there's like two sides of this energy that I'm seeing. You could be this fire sign, it's possible, or you're dealing with some other fire sign. Because it, look, it looks like this is heavily on your mind. You could be feeling like there could be just something here about releasing grief or any kind of, like, you don't want to have any regrets involving this whole situation so there could be something there around that there's a masculine here that's really angry or frustrated about a situation and that might be the thing that's coming back around is and it might be coming in in a different way and it's almost like good luck good luck is going in someone's favor and it's from an exchange that took place or a collaboration. There's an offer that's being made here that I think you're going to take, but it will maybe require you to open up or someone else to be. I don't know, something interesting around that. But it feels like this will be a good thing because if you felt like there were a lot of obstacles around you being able to focus or being able to grow or develop, something's going to come in that will, I think, be more stable or help you to get back into developing something okay because there could have been restrictions around that or like you couldn't keep your attention or focus on something but now that's changing this knight of swords person why do i keep getting air signs in your readings okay this is either you or you're dealing with a legit air sign this person could be battling some kind of situation and you could be aware of it I'm not really sure how you're connected to this person, but it's like there's an awareness around this whole thing. And Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, what was the initial thing I was getting around that? Oh, let me throw this out there. Okay. If there was some kind of person involved here, they could be have a bit of a grandiose image or there's issues going on if there's like a family situation it could appear to be a little dysfunctional 
or there's a person here that's thinking they don't have a wish fulfillment in their life. It could be involving the connection they're in right now. If this is involving a partnership, there was this, it was either a full on disconnection or there's this realization that's coming up to the surface and five of wands. That's a weird competitive thing. It's almost like, okay, it can be a masculine who's out of balance or has some kind of unhealed trauma. It could even be unhealed, um, whatever it looks like. This person could have gotten into a partnership with someone specific, but it's like they wanted to make an appearance. Like That's why I was saying it was a grandiose image. They could have love-bombed someone else um, because they're purposefully trying to create jealousy or envy within someone else. It's like a, it's like a way, it's a manipulation. And that could be something that's coming up right now. Or like, if this person is in a, in a situation currently and they didn't, like it wasn't this wish fulfillment that they were hoping and are expecting for, it's just, or it's just turned into that. This person might be trying to create jealousy within their other person but it could be even on both sides like wanting cre to create jealousy if there's multiple people involved because this is a third party situation this five of swords that can be a lack of communication it's like it can be passive aggressiveness but there could be something going on around that like the pattern is still repeating Either because, but I think if you have to deal with this situation at all, you'll find that luck goes in your favor or the cycle will change from you either being A, charitable, B, generous, or if you come across a legit Six of Pentacles energy, freaking grab hold of it and don't let go. Like, seriously, because, and... I wonder if that's going to be something that comes in is like there could be something in your life right now that if you let go of it that you've been kind of clinging on to or this is like an attachment thing that might come up to the surface with the judgment re reverse. These are some of the retrogrades that are coming in. There'll be something that you could be gripping on to. Maybe you feel like it gives to you in some way. But it's also stopped something else that was already further along from growing. Isn't that interesting? It's like something got put on hold here that was like actually pretty far along. It was close to breaking into full on independence. But it got, there was an obstacle that came in the way. And there's another offer that's coming in in a different direction. But you could, and maybe you could feel like you want to go toward that. But it's going to, um... Oh, maybe this is even someone else for you, Sag. There could be something you're, if you're aware of some kind of masculine that you think they're possibly a player and they've tried to do some things out of like trying to conjure up jealousy and things like that, that could be a person that when you move into this other situation or an offer comes in, this person might want to grasp onto you or they're still kind of energetically holding on to you. It's like Andy from Toy Story. Like a new toy came along, but they still won't let go of Andy. Do you know what I mean? It's like something like that. But this person could still be... Oh, man. They didn't like, the, again, what someone said, or if someone was blunt here or gave constructive criticism, there was a person that had a really strong reaction to it, and someone's trying to heal from that or take a break from the whole situation. Well, let me dive into the extended. I'll see whatever else wants to come out. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there, but... Um, Sag, if this is where we leave things, sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.